Kevin Coleman who shares time with Freeman at tailback is in there as well and the pass goes to the outside and Julio Jones makes his first catch of the night it won't be his last it'll be second down and four well these two teams from the 26 or play action ton of time for Ryan throws a beauty to Jones big game covered by Ronald Darby the former Buffalo Bill picked him up in a trade and a gain there of 21 yards. Yeah, a terrific route this time against Darby. And you're going to see Julio Jones at the top of the route bring it back towards his quarterback. And by that, you get greater separation. That's the kind of trust and feel. Even though Julio Jones doesn't do a lot in practice anymore, he's had some injuries that have been an issue this year. But still, the timing between those two, pretty special. Ryan to Julio Jones last week in Los Angeles. 10 targets, 9 completions for 94 yards, and that touchdown on that little toss into the end zone in the red zone. Career and postseason, take a look at that. 144.4 is uh, very close to perfect. 80% 80, 80 completion, 6 TDs, no picks. The big thing they want to do is try and keep number 11 in front of them. As long as he's not going into the end zone, we feel like they have a great shot to win here. Brian seven for his first nine for 97 yards Well, play action. He's going for it all deep downfield. It hangs up in the air and it's Jones who winds up as the defensive back as Mills is there ready to intercept it. So Julio was able to bat it away make it incomplete second down at 10. Yeah, this one had a great chance to get picked. Here we go down the field, but this ball looked a little bit the way Nick Foles did trying to throw in this direction. So I think clearly now we've established what is going on. Pressure, no question on Matt Ryan, but that ball is floating just like it did out of Nick Foles. 6.45 to go in the first half. Ryan going to spin away. Flag is down. Pass intended for Jones, broken up by Jalen Mills. Flag is down at the one-yard line. Boy, that was lucky for Matt Ryan. That looked like it was thrown to Jalen Mills. Prior to the pass, holding defense number 31. Five yard penalty, oh. automatic first down. Uh, that's why it looked like it was thrown to Jalen Mills. Because of the hold, first and goal. Let's take a look on the outside. There's hold right there when he felt like he got, but the funny thing was he was going to play a trail technique. He was playing behind him. So he didn't need to hold it. That part of that technique, you let the guy run in front of you and force him to throw some jump ball to the back. Of the Brian to the sideline, and it sails incomplete. Tender for Jones, covered by Darby. 64 seconds to the half, and a third and 13 upcoming. No, Julio Jones has certainly been the guy for this football team and for Darby and Mills They knew that was the matchup the one thing we have not seen so far the Eagles have struggled a little bit this season with double move plays and especially of late But right now they're playing a little bit more zone defense not quite as much man-to-man -man stuff So those opportunities not there well, he's looking for Julio Jones right here, but let's give some credit on the outside. That's Darby again, matched up with him, and then it went down in the middle. Second and 11. As Bryant throws into traffic, and it's incomplete. Him overshoot this and almost come back underneath. When Ryan saw him go out wide, no linebacker makes that play back inside like that. But that was something special that time by Kendricks. Third down, 11. Crowd back at full throw. Deep drop by Ryan. Fires on. They need 11 and get 12 as Julio Jones makes the catch to convert. Julio Jones with a corner stop right there. Watch him. He's going to run right at the cornerback down the field and stop and come right back short of the sticks. That's a veteran route, though. He went up to about 14, 15 yards, but he couldn't have done it if not for that pass protection. That was very good there. Freeman. Julio Jones, seventh season. Boy, they, they mortgaged the farm to get him in that draft. 
per game regular season 95.3 highest postseason 104.7 minimum five games that is the highest in the history of the nfl yeah, thomas dimitrov came in and asked matt ryan he said we've got such good receivers tony gonzalez roddy white do you think we could fit julio into that mix Matt said, yeah. But still, that was Dimitrov's first year. Now, when you talk about going out on a limb, first year GM says, hey, you know, we're going to mortgage, as I said, the farm to move up and pick up that guy. And kind of worked out, you might say. Go big or go home, right? You might as well take your shot. You only get to sit in that big seat mm -hmm. every so often. But it really is amazing. And the thing I admire about Julio Jones since he's been in the league, he is the best inside route runner. So here's a guy with great speed, but he also has great guts. He comes in and makes those tough catches. The Saints, Freeman is the running back. Play action. And he slides and then just throws the ball away. It'll be second down and 10. Yeah. Well, they're trying on first down. Do you think that a defense, they're going to start playing the run? And so they took their shot here. This was going to be their big shot play, but they're Eagles. Against the four-man rush here. Ryan fires, and it's off the hands of Jones. Covered there by Darby. Third down and 20. Jones slipped right at the catch. Clock down to 520. To the outside, Jones makes the catch as he falls down. Ryan, good protection, fires, and that will be caught at the 26-yard line. He's in the backfield. And Ryan to the end zone for Jones, cannot fall it in. Covered there by Darby to make it second down and goal. This is sort of the classic Jim Schwartz, what he does on the goal line. Here, Darby lines up about six or seven yards off, but he's not going to move much. He is not going to react over the top sees this high thrown ball and just makes the play but anytime julio they leave him one-on-one -on -one, they're going to give it a shot to go they really are not doubling julio jones there he is bottom of the screen one-on-one -on -one, and ryan goes that way on a slant and it is caught at the two-yard line clock will go to under a minute and the eagles will call a timeout here so when we saw the replay, I thought, you know, you can see the ball rolling around, clearly makes contact with the grass. Crowd, of course, is watching the same thing that you're watching. But I think it's going to remain. Here is uh, Vinovich. After reviewing the play, the run on the field stands. Complete the pass. You know what's interesting, Al, is that may have really played to the Eagles' favor. A fullback flanked out. To the left. Ryan rolling to the right. Ryan in trouble. Ryan flips one into the end zone with a prayer incomplete. Jalen Mills covering. Unbelievable. Biggest play of the game. Julio Jones falls down. He falls down and they flank the fullback wide to the left. Look at this. Jalen Mills who has come so far here in his second year. He falls down. Now watch Julio going to get it up. Ryan still wants it, and they can't quite get the completion. Even if he had caught it, take a look where his feet are. I'm not sure he would have come down inbounds anyway. Well, yep. there he is. Wow. <laughs> they line up. They got Atlanta almost jumping, did they? That's Grady Jarrett. Let's see whether they call it a false start or offside. Boy, give Nick Foles credit if he got him to jump in that situation. Encroachment. Wow. Defense number 97. Five yard penalty. Good first down. And they got him. And the defense was terrific. Atlanta's only points came off of two turnovers. And the resilient Philadelphia Eagles host the NFC Championship game here. That's the first playoff win for the Eagles since the 2008 season. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. 
This team has had fun all season long with their celebrations, and it is going to be a party tonight.